So I ask you again, when you said internal inconsistency, yes, as a criteria, not a principle, because you do know there's a vast difference between the two. As a criteria, does the Bible have for any sane, reasonable human being to read and say, yes, this is a test wherewith I can actually determine whether these writings are from God. Right. That's my question. Okay. Did you, have you understood it? Yes. Fine. And, and here's the answer. The answer is that all throughout the pages of Scripture, uh, the, 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 the writers are quoting God everywhere. In every chapter, every, almost every verse, they're quoting God. And so if they're not quoting God, then they're lying or they're being deliberately deceitful right, to my, others. Fine, okay? fine, my brother. So you can you can go to that this book, which which is the only book that I know that has God being quoted in here through the writers. And uh, you can go to this, and you can decide yourself whether this is from God, because these writers seem to believe that it is. Right, so that's, now the criteria has changed here. So this is the criteria you would use. That's the internal. Uh, that's the internal. My friend, can I finish? All oh, right, explain to him, and then he'll explain to me. The English text of the prophet just explains who is a false prophet and who is a genuine prophet. Right. So in the New Testament, kind of it turns in chapter 14, which speaks about prophecy, which obviously they to judge the prophecy. There was an account of people, which is a non word of Now, my, my friend, because he came late, I completely misunderstood everything we are talking about. He's only... He's, 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 let me finish. He's, de he's describing what he believes. But let's go back to what you said. You have just said this whole book, people are talking about God. Yeah. My friend, this is what people do in the Bhagavad Gita of the Hindus. Is that the book of God according to you? No. no I don't know God. Wait a minute. Your criteria, you have just contradicted. You... Christian. You see, my friend, you just said they quote God. That's the criteria. No one. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. You are, you are, you are, you are, my friend. You are, you are running. Look, you know, I have. And decide for yourself. My friend, you see, with respect. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you? No, 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 no. Now you are running. You are definitely running, my friend. You are running. I know that. Now my friend is saying the real test is the Holy Spirit. You don't run away, my friend. Why do they always do this? My Christian friend. Are running. Yeah, and yeah, this, my friend, is becoming emotional. It's a mute point, though, my friend. It's a mute point. You know? yeah, no, it's not a mute that point. Is. It's not. You see, it's when not. you talk, when you talk Holy Spirit, yes, you are yet again talking subjective. Because you only feel it. Yes? My friend, my friend, you see, a question is objective. What you feel is subjective. No. So what is it? Is it real? Since you don't want to answer the question, we may as well move on. What is it? Exactly. What, is what, is what is it? What is it? No, what is it? What is it? Yeah. Holy Spirit is a person who's God. Is he inside you? Yes, Is he inside him? He is. Is he inside him? Is he inside every born again Christian? Is he in every born again Christian? Any Christian is God. So when you say he's a So when you say to any say no, he's not inside of one second, I'm then glad. He's not inside of you. You can't Oh we can't understand. It's, it's, That's a classic it's, that is. It's like if I if I have to eat something and Let I, him finish. I, I the prophet told us to it. allow them to finish. How can you know the test of what I've written? You don't. Because you never experienced Excellent. You, never you know you know how it is. You know how it is, my friend. It doesn't. You are absolutely right it doesn't. What to you is He's telling me to you he eats an orange. And then ask me, how does it taste? <laughs> what kind of a reasonable person would ask somebody else to tell him how it tastes? It's, it's an unreasonable question. Well, let me finish. I allowed you to finish. I allowed you to finish. You don't. Okay, does the Bible have the Holy Spirit? What do you mean, does the Bible have the Holy Spirit? What do you mean, what do I mean? What do you mean, I'm saying, does it have the Holy Spirit? What do you mean, does it have the Holy Spirit? Does it have the Holy Spirit? It's got the Holy Spirit. It's got the Holy Spirit. Oh, what do you mean? You are stuttering, my brother. Does it have the Holy Spirit? Well, it depends. That's a silly question. Why is it a silly question? Okay, let me clarify. Is the Holy Spirit a person? There is nobody to speak to, my friend. We are all here. Don't go that side. We are here. I am saying. It's, uh, no, 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 friend, no, 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 getting emotional, my friend. My pretty sister there, he suddenly turned away to you. I can see why. But I'm still here. 
I'm still here, my, my friend. Oh, I'm, I'm making a joke with my pretty sister, not with you. But can you answer my question, though? Yeah. Don't don't get don't get offensive, my brother. Calm down. We are having we are having a discussion of God in a respectful way. The Prophet Muhammad has taught us to be decent. Uh, I can see you are not interested. So let well let me try and deal with you how a Christian would deal with me. Oh, so we are finally. Which test is this now? The second one or the first one? This is the test of whether you know this is from God or not. No, no, no. The criteria was internal inconsistency. We're going to a different criteria. Now. Okay, so you're admitting you got it wrong. No, I didn't. Okay, fair enough. Let's go to the other one. Criteria. Yeah, okay then. Fair, fair enough. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. Yeah. By this you know the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ mm. has come in the flesh is from God. And every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming and is now already in the world. Okay. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. They are of the world, therefore they speak as of the world, and the world hears them. We are of God. He who knows God, knows God personally, he could have put it more hears us. He who is not of God does not hear us. By this we know the spirit of truth right. and the spirit of earth. Okay. My That's friend, very, very clear. I am so glad for you believers it's clear. Right. Because you know what? According to Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, we are always told. One second, John, let me you. finish. I allowed you to finish. You see, my friend, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, many a time, in many quoted uh, scripture, we are always told that disciples always got things confused. The disciples always misunderstood what Christ was saying. That is what Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John tell us. Now, you went to the first epistle of John, starting from chapter 2, verse 2 onward. Yes, where it says that every judge the spirit for many false prophets have gone out. That statement, was it after Christ or before Christ? It was after Christ. So are you are you are you admitting that there were going to be true prophets who were going to come after Christ? No. No. no, no you just no, said yes and no, yes and no here. No, yes and no. no, no. Can you see what I mean, my friend? I'm only no. asking the question. No. Did you wait, wait, my friend? No, I want to, no, I want to get this confirmed. Calm down, calm down. Calm down. No, no, no. I asked you, was it before Christ or after Christ? You said after Christ. So I told you, well, it only means that true prophets were to come after Christ. That's right. Yeah, but, but yes. That's right. Yes. That's right. Right. Wait. They and they the test was yes. They have to and the test was so Christ came in the flesh. Right, the and any prophet that comes out or that does not bear that testimony is a false prophet. That's now the test, enough. now, now you see, enough. now the test was that now, the true prophet, the word is used spirit, isn't it? Yeah, but you are true. denoting the word spirit to mean prophet. No, I didn't say that. I'm, I'm just reading what the word of God says. Right, yeah, wait a minute. Now, now, now we are getting really confused here. No, we're not confused. My friend, come down. We are exactly. I'm so glad you said it. Every prophet has a spirit of God. Ah, thank you. So, so if the guy is claiming, if the guy is claiming he has the spirit of God, he's the prophet. Uh, now you say no. Make your minds up, my friend. Are you also joining us? We can see. Yes. Is of God. Wait, now stop Every there, my friend. Spirit stop. That does not confess he, he won't stop. that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. Do you confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh? Does Mohammed my friend, does Mohammed no. my friend, no, he doesn't. My friend, no, my friend, no, friend look at this. Oh, simple says. Oh, yeah, it's okay, It's all right, calm down, my friend. You are getting emotional. Now, now you say yes or no. The Muslim believes Christ came in the flesh. The Quran says Christ came in the flesh. The Prophet Muhammad, to whom it was revealed, and he was, well, 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 you've asked, now, now, accept the answer. The Prophet Muhammad, to whom the whole Quran was revealed, was told to tell people Christ was the Messiah, he did come in the flesh. Is Muhammad a true prophet according to 